Everyone, welcome to the show. I have updates to share about the trafficking case against Republican donor and media figure Anton Lazaro. He also goes by Tony Lazaro. Um, last week, Lazaro's alleged co-conspirator testified against him. 21-year-old Gisela Castro Medina, who, by the way, she served as the chairperson for the Minnesota College Republicans. So she told the jury how she met Lazaro through a sugar daddy website, and she admitted that she had sex with him when they first met, and that was only because he paid her. She said, if he had not paid me, I would not have done it. When Lazaro first posited the idea with her of Medina going out and recruiting teenage girls for him, she said that she was, or she at least claims that she was initially, quote, freaked out, and she thought that Lazaro was crazy. Medina also told the jury that Lazaro said he had people in California who also recruited girls for him, quote, like matchmaking. So eventually, Medina changed her mind and she started reaching out to girls on Snapchat. The prosecutor showed the jury multiple screenshots of messages that she had sent to underage girls. And Medina told the jury that Lazaro preferred girls that were 16 years old, white, petite, and without tattoos, and he wanted, quote, broken girls. That's what he said, according to her. In exchange for these, quote, broken girls, Medina was being paid hundreds of dollars. So every time she brought him someone, he would pay her. He would pay the girls, and he would pay her. And according to her testimony, Lazaro got her hooked on Adderall. Um, in addition, Lazaro gave her $11,000 to buy a car. He paid her $5,000 for her college tuition. He took care of her rent. He gave her a credit card, which she says she charged up about $10,000 on that. And then when the FBI searched Lazaro's home, he pleaded with Medina to keep quiet. That's allegedly when he offered to buy her a house and he said, oh, I'll pay for you to attend grad school. Then the jury also saw photos that Lazaro would send to these underage girls. So he, what he would do is he would try to boast about his wealth. He would boast about his connections. One photo showed the upper torso area of Lazaro. You couldn't see his face, but you could see his lower body. He was holding a stack of, of cash, like a huge stack of cash in one hand. And then there were these two even larger stacks of cash sitting on the counter in front of him. So he would send these pictures to these girls. And then he also sent the girls photos of him with Donald Trump, also a photo of him with Mike Pence. If nothing else, these girls should have known to run when they saw those photos. Anyway, um, all five alleged victims testified against Lazaro. One of the girls who was only 16 when she allegedly had sex with Lazaro, she told the jury, quote, after Tony, I stopped eating, started isolating, started drinking. I started taking three showers a day because I never felt clean anymore. My life changed. I was a completely different person. My innocence was stolen from me. So the mother of one of Lazaro's alleged victims also testified on Monday of this week, and she said that she knew something was up with her daughter in the fall of 2020 because her daughter, who was 16 at the time, had always been outgoing. She referred to her as tenacious, and she said she was an honor roll student, but suddenly she became withdrawn and her grades completely tanked. The alleged victim also had a brand new iPhone. The mom had no idea where it came from. She started making large cash deposits into a bank account that they shared together. And then during a conversation between this mother and daughter, the daughter admitted that Lazaro was paying her for sex. So that mom reached out to the FBI, and that was the impetus for the federal investigation. Then another victim referred to as victim A. She also testified, and she said, quote, he would always tell me I was his favorite because I have such a childlike body. She told the jury that at 16 years old, which is when he was having sex with her, she barely weighed 90 pounds. And victim A also said that Lazaro referred to himself as daddy, and he would tell her not to worry about anything because, quote, daddy was going to take care of everything. So this girl also had a falling out with Medina, 
And Lazaro's attorney tried to claim that it had to do with her drug use, the girl's drug use. But victim A said that, no, it, it was in fact because she eventually refused to see Lazaro. And it was because of victim A that a state probe started because her parents reported Lazaro to the local police. So on Tuesday afternoon, Lazaro took the stand in his own defense. Not a wise move, but, you know, guys like this always think that they can fool everyone. So Lazaro told the jury that he was just using the Sugar Daddy website to date because COVID made it hard to meet people. Remember, this was in 2020. And he and his attorney said that these girls continued to meet with Lazaro of their own free will. So the sex was consensual. He even tried to say that he was just being generous and that he wasn't actually paying these underage girls for sex. Lazaro told the jury, quote, I very quickly got the reputation that I was very liberal with the amount of money I would give to people for nothing. Yeah. OK. And you're a Republican? Sure. Mm hmm. Sure, Jan. Anyway, um, I'm sure it wasn't nothing to these girls also. You know, oh, I was paying them for nothing. No, no, it ruined some of their lives. And remember, we're talking about a 30-year-old man, and he's on the prowl for 16-year-old girls. So anyway, guys, the jury is expected to begin deliberations this week because the prosecution rested their case on Tuesday before Lazaro took the stand. And so we'll see. We'll see if the jury can see what was really going on here, if they can comprehend the idea of grooming victims and how young, desperate girls are very easy targets for these older, completely sick and twisted bastards. When I hear more, I will let you know. Hopefully we will have a verdict soon. Hopefully they will put this guy away. Apparently Medina is facing potential life in prison. So that was one reason why she opted for a plea deal and to testify against him. But she also claims that she, now looking back on it, she sees that it was disgusting and wrong and she just wants to take responsibility. Who knows? Who knows? Um, you know, like I said in another segment, we, we do some really stupid shit when we're 19. But this guy was an adult. This guy was a 30 year old grown ass man. All right. I will let you know when I hear more. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please like this video, share it with others. That really helps with the Google gods and to get more eyeballs on this information. Um, please become a subscriber if you have not, or if you're on another platform, follow. Um, it all really helps. Truly appreciate it, guys. Love you all. Take care and I'll talk with you soon.